Catherine, food, music, and fireworks right here in the Star City. Roanoke Parks and Recreation is helping you continue the Independence Day celebrations beyond the 4th of July. So here to tell us all about the Freedom Festival and fireworks at Rivers Edge Park is Tim Bullhead Thomas. We're so happy to have you here, and I'm sure it's feeling pretty busy right now as you all yeah. prepare, correct? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh good. Well, it's a fun excitement because this is clearly a tradition for many families, and it's a big celebration. Talk to me about some of the highlights of the Freedom Festival, and of course, the fireworks. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the Freedom Fest will be starting at five o'clock where we'll be open and we'll have anything from bounce houses of all different kinds for kids, anything from trampolines to blow up axe throwing to an obstacle course. Um, we'll have food trucks, a uh, couple of full service food trucks and about three snack trucks so you can get some food while you're there. Um, and Five Points Music Sanctuary will be doing the, uh, the alcohol and the music for the week for the night. So that'll be a lot of fun. Excellent. And the cool part about this, clearly you have to buy the food, buy um, your drinks if you want to par participate in those mm -hmm. items. But it's a free event, so yes. it's really kind of economically friendly for families as well if they want to come out. Yeah, absolutely. And our goal with all this is to allow the community to come together and not have any barriers of that. And so just get everybody together to enjoy, celebrate the holiday and see some good music and some good fireworks. Absolutely. And we're seeing some of those photos now because um, in years past, we've had reporters out there and you see the crowds. Everyone's always having a blast uh, no matter what, even if it does look like it could rain in some of these images as well. But um, with the Freedom Festival, this one does it kick off and what do we need to know in terms of showing up at Rivers Edge Park? Absolutely. So Friday, July 5th is when the festival is and it'll be uh, five o'clock is when it kicks off. Um, there will be some road closures near there. So Wiley Drive will be closed to traffic as well as Reserve Avenue. Um, but the parking garage that's right near the hospital, across the road from the hospital, and the one near Blue Ridge Cancer Center and that side of the park as well will be open for parking and as well as, you know, just quick walks to the park. Um, we do have ADA parking also on Wiley Drive. So Wiley Drive will be closed to through traffic, but we will have it be open for anyone that needs ADA accommodations for parking and things like that. So like that. plenty of parking there for everybody. Yeah, and it brings back the theme accessibility. You're making this Absolutely. so everyone can participate. Yep. Um, clearly, this is going to be a busy night for all of you um, with the star of the show being mm -hmm. the fireworks. When do those kick off and what should people bring with them to be able to really enjoy their time out there at the park? Absolutely. So yes, definitely a busy night. We'll start out about six o'clock with music. We'll start with a CCR, which is a Credence Clearwater Recital, which is a yes. Credence Clearwater Revival tribute band, followed by the Dead Reckoning, which is our, our local Grateful Dead tribute band in the area. Um, fireworks will shoot off at right around 930 is what we're shooting for. Um, and then if you want it, just things to bring, it's just things to make yourself comfortable. You know, it will be pretty warm out there. We will have water for free for people. Um, but just bring, you know, blanket, something to sit on, something to cover you up from the sun, sunscreen, things like that. But just make sure you're being respectful of everyone around you because we want to make sure everyone can see just as well. So no big easy ups, no big things that would block other people's view. Just make sure everybody has a chance to enjoy it just like you. Absolutely. Bring the yeah. fold out chair, the blankets and have some fun too because yep. it's going to be a great time. <laughs> Maybe a frisbee or something to toss around there because there's yep. plenty of space to do so. Um, when it comes to uh, these types of events, it is summertime. We mm -hmm. know that there is a potential for some rain. Um, what would you want people to know about your uh, plans in case of some severe weather? Absolutely. So we have um, been working with our emergency management department as well as our communications department in the city to have a lot of things already planned and ready just depending on whatever happens that night. So obviously I call in the good weather, so nothing yes, bad's going to happen. Exactly. But, uh, but if it does, we have a plan for evacuations, getting people to their cars, making sure they're safe if there's lightning in the area. But we will, all, we will be making those announcements on social media. But also if you're there on site, we'll be announcing it on the PA system as well as the screens we have beside the stage. So Excellent. lots of ways to see that information to make sure everybody's getting where they need to be safely. And and super easy too. Yep. And the cool part about these fireworks also, you can be there in River's Edge, but you can be kind of anywhere to watch the magic. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing we do recommend is just make sure right around 930 when the fireworks are going off, make sure you've pulled over to a safe spot. If you're not at the festival with us, just make sure you're being really safe. We want everybody to have fun. We want everybody to make it home safe afterwards too. Absolutely. Great reminders. And Tim, a lot of good information because that Freedom Festival, it's on Friday, July 5th. So that allows you to really have um, continued fun with this ind Independence Day weekend. And if you want to find more information, Play Roanoke has all the details about parking, where and where, where you should go, where you can't go during this afternoon of uh, excitement. So please check that out. But Tim, thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, stay with us. Coming up, a local camp is celebrating four decades.